That jersey belonged to Giant Gary. He was the tallest basketball player we ever had. We lost him in a freak ceiling fan accident. He will be missed. I'm short and you're a jerk for constantly reminding me. I can smell you all the way from here. Gross. Oh wait, that's me. I'm too short. Thanks for the reminder. Hey, Jersey. How's it hanging? Better keep my eyes peeled. These could be marking a dangerous hazard. Better not. If I take them, somebody could die. I want to wear you on my head and pretend like I'm a member of Devo. Sometimes I dive in here to hide from bullies and or my own shame. I got some balls you could touch right here, Johnny. I talk longer, but I gotta bounce. That's a speaker. I'd love to be able to reach that, but alas. Oh, great speaker. Fill me with your wisdom. Nothing? It's all right, because I'm enslaved by the bell. Why do you mock my height? Ah, fuck yeah, I love talking to the bell. These are lockers, or as some bullies like to call them, nerd cages. These are locked. What's inside? Only God knows. Which one of you is Davy Jones's locker? Does this mean I'm on the team now? Hooray! Coach calls that his adult Gatorade. Eh, it's empty, and I don't need any more trash. I bet you could tell some wild stories about our coach, couldn't you, Bottle? This is where the coach makes me sit every game. I don't even get to watch. I don't feel like doing a bench press. Heh. <laughs> you have to deal with the sweatiest butts in school. Thank you for your service. It's filled to the brim with junk funk. Just because I use my hands to clap doesn't mean I want my hands to get the clap. How are you that soiled? I want this one on my tombstone when I die. I don't really want to participate. Receiving medals of participation is like getting an honorary STD just for watching other people have sex. This is a boy's exit sign. You can tell by the way it is. I get it. I'm short. Believe me, based on the funky odors in here, all I want to do is exit. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. Oh, sure, I'll just jump up there and touch it. Come on, dude, get real. Fact, if your watch isn't set to this exact time, your watch is wrong. I'm too short. Thanks for the reminder. No thanks, I only stare directly into the sun. I can't get up there. I bet I could crawl through that to get to, uh, other vents. You're an excellent vent, vent. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, sure, I'll just jump up there and touch it. Come on, dude, get real. I don't have time for time. These jeans look just like the pair I'm wearing right now. Grandma always told me not to touch other people's pants without permission. Feel these jeans, not my pants. Oh, the showers are right here? I had no idea. Oh, it's covered in mildew. Sorry, I don't know sign language. That turns lights on and off just in case you're new to civilization. 
This is where I tell you that I'm afraid of the dark, if I was afraid of the dark. But I'm not afraid of the dark, just, uh, let's leave those lights on, okay? Hey, baby, do I turn you on? We stole this sign from another team, because they suck. Nah, it doesn't inspire me in here, so it's not going to inspire me if I take it elsewhere. Thanks, poster. You inspire me to not play sports. I wish somebody would whip him so he could see how it feels for a change. I would, but he's honestly got a nice rhythm going. Um, in case you didn't notice, your flippant towel waving is causing this kid's butt discomfort. <laughs> yeah, I'm whipping the weirdo good. Hey, how about you give the towel whipping a rest? What's that? You'd like to be next? No, 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 no. I'm just, uh, admiring your top-notch ass-whipping technique. Thanks. I'm pretty much the Indiana Jones of towel whipping. Is there a point where you stop whipping asses and actually get dressed? Hey, you don't get this good at ass-whipping without a whole lot of practice. Fair enough. Will you go to prom with me? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. I said, will you go to prom with... You know what? Forget it. Okay, well, I gotta go. Witness the nerd in the wild, being whipped raw by his predator. It's part of the delicate ecology here at Netherton High. I'll, uh, leave that to the professionals. Is it just me, or is this a little weird? This isn't even close to weird. You wouldn't like me when I'm weird. Okay, then. Here's an idea. Let's not be friends. Ow. These protect our eyes from seeing naked boys. Coach hates them. Ugh, feels like grimy wet rubber. Or a seal. You protect our eyes from other people's butts when they shower. God bless you. These are the faucets that control the flow of hot and cold water. Well, that's what they're supposed to do. I've only found that they're either scorching enough to remove flesh from bone or frigid enough to cryogenically freeze a person. I prefer to keep it on the dry setting. Seriously? You think these are voice-activated showers? Have you seen this place? It's a shower head. I wonder where the shower body is. Thanks, but I'll shower later. Quit raining on my parade! That's Hayden. Well, the naked version of Hayden. Not my favorite version of him. I should probably get to know him before I make a move. Hey, can I watch you shower? Hey, sure, that's not weird at all. Will you go to prom with me? Uh, I can't. I, uh, have to wash my hair that night. But you don't have any hair. I have met my pubes. What well, washing my pubes. Y you can't see them, but there's a lot of them. Oh, I see. Wow. You need help lathering? I sponge bathe my grandma all the time. She says I'm pretty good at it. Just what I thought you couldn't get any weirder. I gotta run. Talk to you later. The door is leading to the back parking lot. Locked! Isn't that a fire hazard? Open sesame! Damn, didn't work. Mm, nope. Swing and a miss. The girls' locker room is for literal pussies, not figurative ones like me. Unless I had a disguise. Rats, no dice. I meant to do that. That was.
was a bright idea. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. The girls' locker room is for literal pussies, not figurative ones like me. Unless I had a disguise. Damn vandals and their romantic gestures. I'd love to be able to reach that, but alas. Spray it, don't say it. Wow, this is the most offensive vending machine I've ever seen. I can't believe they'd put this in a public school. The stuff in this vending machine is far too risque for my PG-13 hands. You should be ashamed of yourself, vending machine. Have some self-control, for goodness sake. It's either an oily rag or someone's oily underwear. Either way, gross. Sorry I'm always ragging on ya. Got him. Fire. Nature's TV. Ow! Fuck! There goes all my brand new arm hair. I'll leave the fire whispering to Kevin Cosmo. Hello. I'm not 21. Or 18 in Europe. Wait right here. I'll come back for you when I'm 21. You can't work on a boiler without a proper glove. Covered in razor blades? Huh. Guess that's why I'm not a boiler repairman. How do I know that's not gonna start pumping out poisonous gas any minute? I'd love to be able to reach that, but alas. At least I know I've always got someone to vent to. <laughs> God, I wish I had more friends. Better not interrupt his world record attempt, then he'll just have to start over again. Don't worry, I'll have your flyers hung up in two shakes of a seahorse's ass. I know not where thine vessel hath gone, knave. <sighs> Go, narwhals. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. What kind of a mascot is a narwhal anyway? Not a tiger or a bear or something fierce. A fish with a horn. So imposing. I wonder if I made the team. Any team. I didn't try out for anything, but they once put my name on a list on accident. What a great day that was. I have nothing worthwhile to contribute to this announcement board. I wish something interesting would happen to me for once, so I could actually feel like I was a part of something. There's loads of people in here, so someone's bound to see this. This guy's kawaii as fuck, and looks like he has a fashion designer on speed dial. I attempt to steal his amazing t-shirt. I lose 10 klepto points. Hi. Oh, your face is making me nauseous. Excuse me. I thought cave trolls stayed in their caves. Sawyer's so school newsletter is hard-hitting journalism. Specifically when Kent rolls it up and hits me hard with it. I try to keep my hands clean. Touching these tables is not going to accomplish that. See you later, lunchroom table. Nope, that's not going to do anything. Boy, would you look at the time. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. Time is meaningless. 
At least 70% of the garbage on Pacific Garbage Island is from our school. They should build a statue of us there or something. Oh sure, I'll just sit down at the table without an appetite, a lunch, or a friend. Great idea! What a shame. I'm allergic to everything on this menu. I thought you could only get food poisoning from ingesting food. But now that I've touched it, I'm not so sure. You're not food! Stop spreading lies! What a shame. I'm allergic to everything on this menu. That is one heaping scoop of lunch lady right there. That's, uh, unsanitary. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. You're not food! Stop spreading lies! Yeesh! This food smells like a wet wad of death. Why don't I reduce you into a wet wad of death for that comment? I'm sure it's not your fault. I doubt the school gives you much of a food budget. What's a food budget? I'm not gonna miss eating here after I graduate. Do you need something, mouth breather? Or are you just here to fog up my sneeze god? Will you go to prom with me? Kid, I could fit your entire tiny body inside of me without feeling it. I'm gonna forget I heard that. What culinary crimes are on the lunch menu today? The only crime I see is all the pimples your face is harboring, pipsqueak. Do you know where I could find a kid named Jake? There's 500 Jakes at this school. 498 after yesterday's tuna surprise. Could you be more specific? Uh, he likes gross fish chips. Those nightmare chips? Why would you want those sodium-soaked snacks when you could have something good for you? Like my delicious triple fried lot stuffed semi-flawed meatloaf with a quilt of nacho cheese and melted spatula, all resting on a bed of all pork rinds. Sounds, uh, delicious. Maybe later. So, back to Jake. Any idea where I could find him? Just look for some queasy little twink. Other than yourself, of course. Hey there, I have a quick question. Couldn't get enough of my secret sloppy Joe sauce, huh? I'll let you get back to making poison. Joke all you want, but from this day forth, you'll never know it's in your lunch, kid. Vikings say narwhals look exactly like corpses when they're floating in the water, which is a great metaphor for our sports teams. Oh, feels good. That's some quality banner material. What kind of a mascot is a narwhal anyway? Not a tiger or a bear or something fierce. A fish with a horn. So imposing. It's piling up, just like our future student debt. I don't want to rub rubbish. What a garbage idea. <laughs> no. I can't help but stare at a beauty with blue hair. I checked, and yes, they're tangible. Hi there. Nope. 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 Hey there, do you mind if I... Um, could you not? It's a speaker to tell us about lunch, the weather, incoming active shooters, you know, the usual. I get it, I'm short. I'm not really into public speaking, to speakers, or at all, really. Excuse me, but I... You're like a moron who's secretly an idiot. The perfect snack for the extreme on-the-go lifestyle I wish I had. I don't have enough money to waste on a tube dinner. Hi there! I'm bitter just thinking about it. Just because you rhyme doesn't mean you're clever. A vegetable dispensing vending machine. In other words, the least popular vending machine in the entire school. It's out of order, as usual. When was the last time you were restocked? You smell kinda funky. Ah, energy drinks. Liquid crack. My heart already beats fast enough due to social anxiety, so the last thing I need is an energy drink. 
You know, Blue Magma sounds like the name of a cool sci-fi movie. Jeez, you'd think she was meeting Elvis or something. They have laws against that sort of thing. Is this lion even moving? You guys have been here all lunch period. <sighs> have you ever noticed how perfect Ken's teeth are? His smile just melts me. I'd do anything to go on just one date with him. I'd punch my own mother in the throat. I'd kill my best friend and burn the body. Are you serious? Dead serious. Speaking of dead, can you get lost? I'd just die if Kent saw me talking to a loser like you. Oh man, you're right. What was I thinking? Sorry for existing. I'll just get out your hair then. I don't forgive you. Bye. Honestly, I've never been able to eat in here. Whenever I see these filthy tables, I instantly lose what little appetite I had. Oh sure, I'll just sit down at the table without an appetite, a lunch, or a friend. Great idea. Good advice in any situation. It's a mop bucket full of tears. I'd touch it, but that wouldn't be using caution now, would it? What is it, boy? Did Timmy fall down the septic tank? Is there a bully behind me? Is Grandma on fire? Speak, boy! I'm not taking that. It's all the janitor has left after his divorce. I'll mop the floor with ya. No thanks. I don't want to get my hands dirty. Look at that sad, sorry guy. I feel sad and sorry for him. I've already been in that trash can today. Gross! Smells like a bunch of little dead things stuffed into one big dead thing. A turducken of dead things. Ah, uh, you missed a spot. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm slacking. You miss a lot of spots, to be honest. Oh, I feel like I ain't got no reason to clean no more since my wife left me. We're going through divorce, and my cleaning skills ain't what they used to be. Every piece of white trash reminds me of her. I can't bring myself to throw anything away. Ah, uh, that sucks, man. I'm just a kid. Don't have much advice. Oh, I'm sorry to lay that on you. It's just, I heard it through the grapevine, and by grapevine, I mean stalking her, that she's taking out a new fella to lay telepathy. It's not fair. That was our special spot. I hope her day turns out horrible. This is a lot of personal information. Will you go to prom with me? Oh. Sorry, kid, you're cute and all, but I, I can't bear to be around romance right now. It's just too painful to be reminded of my soon-to-be ex-wife. Think your soon-to-be ex-wife would go to prom with me? Fuck you, kid! Why don't you go ask her yourself? She's probably telepathy moving on without me. Your tears are doing half the mopping around here. I can't help it! I just miss my wife so much. Oh, Beverly. Her curly blonde hair, her permanent scowl, that rare smile that shines like a freshly buffed bathroom floor. That's, uh, very sweet. Wish there was something I could do to help. Say, can I borrow your keys? My, my keys? Well, what do you need them for? Oh. Uh, I was going to key the car of your soon-to-be ex-wife's date. Oh, that's awfully sweet you, little buddy. The thing is, they're not on me, and I can't remember where I left them. I could have left them in one of my crying spots, like the faculty lounge or the boiler room, so maybe check those places. Okay, I'll check those out, and maybe give those crying spots a test drive. Oh, trust me. They're the best darn crime spots in the whole school. Well, good luck out there. 
Oh, if luck be a lady, she would have left me too. Oh, Beverly. Maximum trash. Still waiting? Still trying to talk to me? I was just being friendly. Just don't. That just might be the worst t-shirt in the world. He strikes me as the kind of person you don't want to touch. What are you gonna have Kent write in your yearbook? Oh, uh, good question. I, I don't even know. I, I saved up my lunch money for three weeks to afford it, though. I better think of something good. Wait, you've gotta pay him to get him to sign it? Plebs like us should be honored to have the opportunity to even gaze upon his glory, let alone borrow a moment of his precious time. You do know that he's probably a total jerk because people like you let him act this way, right? Plus, he's already stupid rich. Why would you pay him to write in your book? This whole thing is stupid. Don't criticize me! It's moments like this that make it so fun to watch Kent beat you up! Yeah, whatever, dude. So, let me get this straight. You're waiting in line for your entire lunch period just to pay Kent, the biggest jerk at Netherton High, to sign your yearbook? I just want to make sure I've got all the facts, because if I do, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Leave me alone! You're not Kent! Ah. You've got problems, buddy. I hear that they wash these once a week. Something about saving water and boosting our immune systems. Now I'm immune to cholera. I actually bring my own utensils from home, so I'm good. I prefer silverware with a soft rubber on the end. I am impressed they found silver sporks, though. Silverware, silver here, zing. These are the snacks too old to sell in the vending machines. It's like an elephant cracker graveyard. Nobody wants these, and I include myself in the nobody group, as usual. Jesus! These tables look like they came directly off a garbage pail kids card. I'm not cleaning this up. These tables are in such poor condition, they might as well throw them away. Ooh, damn, girl, you are such a snack. See you later, lunchroom table. I wish somebody loved me as much as he loves Kent. No thanks, I'm honestly creeped out by anybody who worships Kent that much. You waiting in line to have Kent sign your yearbook? Oh my gosh, yes. I slept here all last night so I could get a good spot in line. You slept in the cafeteria? That's, uh, pretty dedicated. Oh, I'm Kent's number one fan! I own all his dead pets, even the Cocker Spaniel that died under mysterious circumstances. Okay. What do you see in Kent? He's kind of a jerk. Oh, don't say that! Kent is an angel! Just look at his dreamy eyes! The wispy hair, his subtle, smug smile, and soft, sensitive skin that is so smooth to the touch. Sigh. So I'm told. Uh, perfectly healthy behavior. That's Kent's personal bodyguard. I wonder how much Kent's parents pay him to beat up his peers. I beat up adults for him, too. Now line up or get lost. If I touch him, I'll probably lose an arm. If you touch me, it's self-defense. Do it. Maybe later, when I've lost the will to live. I'll be waiting. Hey, I... Look, kid. If you're trying to get Sir Kent's autograph, you're gonna have to line up right here like everyone else. No cutsies. Uh, no. I, I just wanted to... No cutsies. Get out of my bubble! Hey, what are you trying to kiss me or something, weirdo? Get in line. 
Oh, look, it's Kent. You see that line, Dick Nips? It's not for decoration. Get in the back of the line like everyone else, and if you're lucky, I'll only charge you double for my autograph. I don't want you to sign my yearbook, dude. Come on, Coop. Didn't you get voted most likely to get murdered by Kent? Yeah, and I don't want to commemorate it. Thanks. Suit yourself. Let me know if you change your mind. I'll even write your epitaph in there. Why do you hate me so much? You see, Coop, the ecology of a modern-day high school is a delicate balance that must be precisely maintained at all times. I'm a white hat bully. I bully for good, not for evil. If it weren't for bullies like me, everyone would be eating their boogers and sucking their thumbs. Who would make fun of the kid with the boner? Who would make fun of the LARPing kids? Who would all the hot girls date? I give people the opportunity for change, a chance to see the light. I'm a mirror for self-reflection, and I'm gonna make you less shitty no matter what, even if it kills you. Yeah, it's too bad for you that I'm totally confident in who I am and don't need your acceptance to feel validated as a person. Let's not kid ourselves, cum face. Well, I don't LARP at least. A drop in the bucket, pal. You've got a long way to go. Your family is filthy rich, dude. Why are you taking money for autographs? Well, piss face, my autograph and a freshman yearbook pre-prom is top shelf stuff. Especially with this being my second senior year. Some people collect these things. Nice things. Don't get all butthurt because you can't afford nice things. Or is it because you can't afford these nice things since your parents cut you off for being held back a grade? Sawyer said that you cried when they cut up your credit card. Bald, even. Keep talking like that and I'll have to do something about it. Say, I heard your browser history got posted on billboards all over town. Wonder how that happened. Very funny. You won't be able to do pranks like that anymore now that your family cut off your gravy train. I heard that Circle J is hiring. Ever thought of applying for a part-time gig to supplement your income? Seriously, dude, thanks for the bullshit advice, but if I were you, I'd walk away while you still have your legs. Would your parents still bail you out of jail after an assault charge? You're goddamn right they would. Oh, uh, you know I'm just fooling with you, right? Just jokes. Please don't hurt me. Walk away. What do I have to do to get you to leave me alone? You can stop pissing me off with every breath you take, for starters. Or you could move or be buried alive or some shit, but then our lives wouldn't be as fun, would they, Coop? The only thing I'm going to miss after graduation is tormenting you. I'm going to miss throwing your photo albums in the toilet. I'll miss posting your social security number on the dark web. I'll miss sending you to gay conversion therapy, or that time I switch your antidepressants with depressants. And I'll definitely miss paying your dentist to replace your teeth with little tiny dildos. I definitely won't miss getting my armpit hair ripped out, or having aluminum foil thrown into my mouth whenever I yawn. It's such a shame. School is a lot more fun when there's a puss tush to torment, and you're the biggest puss tush a man like me could ask for. Soon it'll be the last time you see this puss tush. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, I will. I've got some real good shit in the works for you. Consider it a farewell from yours truly. You'll see. W what does that mean? Oh, nothing. Good luck trying to make it to graduation day. Ah, shit. What would you say if I told you I know the real reason why you didn't graduate? What are you getting at, piss pants? Everyone knows I got held back on purpose so I can be the only hunk to ever get voted prom king five times. Oh, so it definitely isn't because you failed every single class except for culinary arts? That you were nowhere near the required credit count to graduate? Uh, no, that's, that's ridiculous. You're way off base, poop scoop. Everyone knows that I'm here for the sole purpose of defending my prom king title and to keep all the dickweeds like you in line. But that second part is more of a hobby than anything else. That's weird, because I heard that your final report card went missing last year. Like someone stole out of your mailbox or something. Was that just a rumor? Weird rumor. Wonder where it ended up if it did go missing. Probably not in the hands of a dickweed like me or anything. Hope it's somewhere safe. What are you trying to say? Are you saying you have it, Queef Beef? I'm just saying, I bet you make a mean quiche. Mr. Beef makes a mean knuckle sandwich if you'd like a sample. You are mustard on that? Uh, no thanks. I'm on a low violence diet. Then I suggest you forget whatever it is you think that you know, and if you don't, that one time I tied your shoelaces to a moving vehicle won't seem half as bad. All right, all right, I get it, you brutes. 
You look... busy. I'll leave you to it. I'm always too busy for you. Don't come back. Plates for all of your plate-related needs. Okay, seriously, how many vending machines does this school need? I'm not thirsty, except for a prom date. Curatorine, get yourself the kind of unstoppable energy that only unfiltered room temperature bull piss can give you. At least 70% of the garbage on Pacific Garbage Island is from our school. They should build a statue of us there or something. These tables are dirtier than the floor, and I wouldn't eat off the floor. You realize there are other students in here, right? If they see me talking to a lunch table, I'll become an outcast. But who am I talking to right now? <laughs> Vince, bald at such a young age. I better not touch him. I'll just delay how long he takes to decide on a snack. Hey, how's it going? Just trying to make a choice here. Grab some chips. Chips are the best. Hmm. I think you're onto something there, but what kind? They have anchovy chips. I don't know why, but they do. Oh shit, anchovy chips? I didn't even see those, hell yeah. Okay, sweet, you made a decision. It's the wrong decision, but hey, you made it. I'm proud of you. Hey, thanks. Now I just need to find another quarter. God damn it! I'm back for more. Are you, uh, using this? Yeah, I'm just having a little trouble deciding. So you won't mind if I go ahead and... No cutting! No cutting! Okay, okay, okay! Jeez! Hmm. Get the gummy bears. Gummy bears are good. Hmm. I do like pretending I'm the god of the tiny bear people while I bite their heads off. But I had gummy worms for breakfast, so... Nah. How about cookies? Everyone loves cookies. Yeah. Well, cookies are a misnomer. I'm on strike until they're rightfully renamed Bakies. Right, sure. Fight the power. Will you go to prom with me? Yeah, right. I've got enough problems as it is. Mostly revolving around vending machines, but problems nonetheless. Godspeed, you snack champion! Take it easy, line cutter. Filled with all the classics. Dortiro's, Chody's, and Otis Bunkhauer's cookie-like food product. I can't use it while Vince is blocking the vending machine. Maybe I should talk to him first. Thank you for the offer, but I'll have to politely decline your services. I'm back for more! Godspeed, you snack champion! Take it easy, line cutter. The sign says, eat what you're served. That's life in a nutshell, isn't it? Ah, a semi-gloss finish. A quality poster. <laughs> Don't guilt me, sign. I'm not in the mood. There's starving kids in here, too. Jesus, the recycling bin is completely empty, but there's a ton of trash next to it. Bunch of savages. <laughs> not my job, buddy. Really? We're recycling puke now, too? You know, puke is technically already recycled. <laughs> it's a fire alarm. <laughs> Those lights are really bright. I probably shouldn't be staring into them like this. <laughs> it's too high and you know it. I don't want to alarm you, but I don't think you work. I pulled this once, nothing happened. Our school doesn't have the budget for a fire alarm. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. Damn, nothing happened. Guess I'm not a director after all. That's the most beautiful exit sign I've ever seen. 
thanks, but I'm no longer collecting exosigns. Is that a demand? <laughs> wow, Jake looks like he's about to puke his pants off. That dude is just waiting to erupt in a vomitous explosion. Touching him isn't gonna help anyone. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm great. I might blow chunks. I think I'm dying. What's your name? Jake. Jake Upchuck. Upchuck? Isn't that a little on the nose? Huh? It's my name. What are you talking about? I'm breaking the fourth. Ah, uh, never mind. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the nurse. Nah, I'm fine. I just... I just need a minute. What you need is a stomach pump. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten those anchovy chips so fast. That's a lot of empty bags at your feet. Anchovy chips. They're so goddamn good. I ate so many last time I think I'm gonna... But I could go for some more right now. You got any? What I meant was you should throw those bags in the trash. Pfft, screw you. What am I, the janitor? Well, you ignore trash like you're the janitor, but you cry about your ex-wife way less, so I guess not. You, uh, didn't notice a note in your lunch, did you? A note in my lunch? Nah, though to be honest, anything that gets between me and my anchovy chips is likely to get chewed and or swallowed. So you wouldn't have noticed if there was a note in there? Interesting. See you later, regurgitator. <laughs> A copy of Green Eggs and Ham. Who was reading this in high school? Must be Chet. Nah, if I pick it up, then I'm legally obligated to read the whole thing in one sitting. These tables are dirtier than the floor, and I wouldn't eat off the floor. Oh sure, I'll just sit down at the table without an appetite, a lunch, or a friend. Great idea. Look, all the best generic soda products that don't infringe on any copyrights. It's out of order, as usual. Nice cans. I don't need these, but if I ever do, I'll know where to look. Please, sir, can I not? Every time I stare at his shirt, I get dizzy. Wait, is this a secondhand high? Whoa! My hand, like, disappeared into his shirt. You know what's funny? Whoa, my drug dealer said not to talk to strangers. Smart thinking, but no. You know what? Not now, kid. I am way too high. <laughs> Back for more! See you later, regurgitator. These exit doors were welded shut years ago, and I have no idea why. It just screams fire hazard. They're sealed shut, so we can't escape this prison. Fuck you, doors! Let me out of here! more grab some chips chips are the best hmm I think you're on to something there but what kind nothing beats an old-fashioned potato chip right <sighs> that's boring it's like ordering vanilla ice cream or a cheese pizza but those are my favorites coolest ranch isn't bad true true but I'm so damn cool as it is, I'd be afraid of the consequences from my coolness levels reaching critical mass. They have anchovy chips. I don't know why, but they do. Oh shit, anchovy chips? I didn't even see those. Hell yeah. Okay, sweet. You made a decision. It's the wrong decision, but hey, you made it. I'm proud of you. Hey, thanks. Now I just need to find another quarter. 
God damn it! I forgot to ask something last time we spoke. What do I have to do to get you to leave me alone? You can stop pissing me off with every breath you take, for starters. Or you can move or be buried alive or some shit. But then our lives wouldn't be as fun, would they, Coop? The only thing I'm going to miss after graduation is tormenting you. I'm going to miss throwing your photo albums in the toilet. I'll miss posting your social security number on the dark web. I'll miss sending you to gay conversion therapy. Or that time I switch your antidepressants with depressants. And I'll definitely miss paying your dentist to replace your teeth with little tiny dildos. I definitely won't miss getting my armpit hair ripped out, or having aluminum foil thrown into my mouth whenever I yawn. It's such a shame. School is a lot more fun when there's a puss tush to torment, and you're the biggest puss tush a man like me could ask for. Soon it'll be the last time you see this puss tush. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, I will. I've got some real good shit in the works for you. Consider it a farewell from yours truly. You'll see. What does that mean? Oh, nothing. Good luck trying to make it to graduation day. Ah, shit. You look... busy. I'll leave you to it. I'm always too busy for you. Don't come back. Smart thinking, but no. Maybe all the people who said I suck were right. I didn't know milk came in bags. I'm not putting my lips on that. They may tolerate bags of milk like you in Canada, but not in America. Not my America. Lard and mayo, the two primary staples of the white man's diet. While this is one of the cleanest things in this room, I still refuse to touch it. Don't feel bad. Just because you're garbage doesn't mean you can't be a nice fella too. Take me for example. I can see out into the cafeteria. There, touched it. You're it. Window, you are the window to the soul of the cafeteria. A pile of trash bags. Garbage or ingredients? You be the judge. These dishes look on the outside how I feel on the inside. I have nothing to gain but sickness. Please no. Send my regards to Mrs. Dirty Dishes. It's not my turn to do dishes. I have nothing to gain but sickness. Please no. More trash talk, eh? By looking at it, I've technically bleached my eyes. As tempting as it is to drink this, I have to at least try to find a prom date before I end it all. You stay white here. You know what this sink needs? A passive-aggressive sticky note. I find that those help. Better not, it's like Jenga. If I move one of these, they all come tumbling down. Good to know these knives have never been washed and are now beginning to rust. Who doesn't want a little tetanus with their tacos? I can't reach them, and they're far too sharp for my delicate sausage fingers. Knives to see you. hey -o. You guys really dish the dirt. Eh? Eh? Eh. This is the same rat poison that was fed to my old cat. Ken is such an asshole. I'd better leave this here. Wouldn't want to contribute to another rat uprising. Don't worry, rats. I won't poison you. Wouldn't want Willard to haunt me. Jesus, I think somebody actually took a shit in this pot. If I stood on this, I'd be high on pot. Are you here to catch the leaks from the ceiling or fecal ejecta due to food poisoning? Some poisonous chemicals under the sink. Something tells me this kitchen isn't baby proof. This isn't Fight Club. I don't want to get a chemical burn. Hey, bleach. Bleach any eyes lately? Or buttholes? Hey, a crock pot. What a crock. What if this was used to murder someone? I'd get my fingerprints all over it, go down for the crime, and then I'd have to escape from Shawshank Prison by crawling through 500 yards of poop. No thank you. 
I'm not gonna be the kettle calling the pot black. Oh, nice, rat trap. I used to play this all the time as a kid. Mousetrap was too expensive. Sure. Ouch! Why did I do that? It's a trap! MacGyver is rolling in his duct tape grave after that idea. Coop loses 10 confidence points. Who'd have thought you'd need so many pots to serve Salisbury steak and tater tots? I'm sure these are exactly where they belong. It's all part of an elaborate cataloging system, so I wouldn't want to mess it up. I bet someday a nice leprechaun will take one of you to the end of the rainbow and shower you in gold. This is the most beautiful dishwasher I've ever seen. So shiny and new. Looks like it's never been used. There's a shocker. I don't want to start a dishwashing revolution in here. Wouldn't want people to think this place is trying to be even remotely sanitary. Any advice for a misfit teen? So much for the wise old dishwasher. The rare double Dutch oven. I wouldn't want to mess up the chef's souffle. Clearly, we're dealing with an artist. I'll keep you in mind if I ever need to murder conjoined twins. How do they do any prep work here? On top of the garbage? I didn't think it was possible to get tetanus from food, but now I wonder. Dearly crowded countertop, we gather here today to celebrate this thing called stove. It's hard to avert my eyes from the cleftal horizon in front of me. Of course a scouring pad for cleaning dishes would be on the floor. Where else would you store it? Feels like a bunch of stingy metal hairs. Kind of like robot pubes. Are you okay, scouring pad? You seem a little coarse today. What a brave little toaster. Brave to stay in a room full of diseases scientists probably haven't even identified yet. What am I made of, bread? If I am, please tell me. Nope, that didn't work at all. I have nothing to gain but sickness. Please no. I'm surrounded by trash. If I pour some positively charged slime into you and play some happy music, will you dance for me? Trash. I want to distill you into perfume and call you Le Bar. A box of pig parts? I didn't know you had to assemble a pig. I don't want to get swine flu. This little piggy shipped to market. This little piggy shipped home. And this little piggy shipped to a cruddy school kitchen connected to a gymnasium. Guess which piggy is the big loser here? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain that this is what's on the cafeteria menu for the rest of the week. I'd honestly, truly, desperately love to not touch that. Faith can move mountains, and waste can make mountains. That door leads to slabs of meat on hooks. Not to eat, but for the lunch lady to practice her boxing. It's frozen shut. Hey, door. Do you swing both ways? I wonder how many lunches were served directly out of these trash cans. I don't want to knock. These trash cans all over. Hi, trash. Will you go to prom with me? Damn, the silent treatment once again. Ah, mystery bone soup. Soup for the soul, and possibly from the soul. Uh, I'm more of a food lover than a food fighter. Well, I rarely get to eat my lunch without bullies teabagging it, so I might as well wear it so it doesn't go to waste. What's cooking, bad looking?
It's hard to avert my eyes from the cleftal horizon in front of me. I'm gonna guess touching the cook is probably more dangerous than touching the stovetop. Hey there, what you cooking, good looking? Don't hit on me, kid. I'm way out of your league. Do you have any cooking tips? Yeah, don't work in a school cafeteria if you want people to taste your food. Okay, noted. Oh, and did you know that you can use blood as a substitute for egg whites? They have very similar coagulation properties. The secret sauce was inside us all along. Gross! Yep. In fact, egg intolerance is a big problem for many European kids. So some cooks have focused on using blood as an egg substitute in sweets and baked goods. Pancakes, too. No matter how practical it is, still doesn't make it sound any less, uh, icky. Mmm, fair. If we have to go that route here in the cafeteria, though, it'll be our little secret. Hey, that's a problem for next year's students to worry about, not me. Will you go to prom with me? No way, bub. Already went to prom back when I was your age, and one prom is plenty. Aw, oh, man. Well, got any tips for someone looking to go to prom in hopes of finding love and experience in his budding sexuality? What a pointed question that might incriminate me. Well, since you asked, I have some advice that could take you all the way. Take it from me, kid. Let your ass crack breathe and the ladies will follow your sweet pheromones. I don't think that'd work. Then why do you think you walked in here? Kind of filthy back here, don't you think? Well, look who we got here. If it isn't the little baby health inspector, thanks for your concern, but it's gonna have to stay this way until that damn janitor gets his emotions under control. Uh, okay, but does cleaning the dishes really fall under the janitor's duties? Does it look like I've cleaned them? Uh, not really. Well, then I guess it's up to the janitor to handle then, isn't it? Can't argue with that logic. So, where did you learn to, uh, cook? I went to school at Le Cordon Bleu in Paris with a focus on molecular gastronomy. But I really learned how to cook at a Michelin-starred restaurant in Tuscany. Whoa! So what are you doing here? Taking advantage of the Mayon reaction to add some rich flavors to this garbage slop for garbage fourth graders. Uh, I'm 17. You all look the same to me. Okay, well, gotta run. Yeah, yeah. The school stove, so this is where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean food poisoning. Grandma told me to never touch a hot stove, unless it's for money. I'm gonna put this conversation on the back burner. Hello again, I wanted to ask you a few things. Okay, well, gotta run. Yeah, yeah. No thanks, I don't want to strain myself. I can't reach it. Grandma says I'll hit a growth spurt if I stop doing that thing in the bathroom so much. Hello. You know what's funny? Whoa, my drug dealer said not to talk to strangers. you so much, missing computer. <laughs> and so our hero fails again. Rats, no dice.
got better things to do than mess up the principal's books, like messing up my own life. Maybe I should try being smarter. I haven't graduated yet, but I can still dream. We should hang out sometime. We have a lot in common. Need to be filed. I'm not gonna file these unless somebody pays me. File yourselves, you lazy bums. This is the gold medal from when Principal McNally won the school sack race on field day. Really wasn't fair for him to use the only sack that wasn't full of potatoes. No way! He polishes this medal every day. Looks like fool's gold to me. How appropriate. It reads, Dear Principal McNally, I just wanted to write to you to say I think you're the most wonderful principal in the history of Netherton High School. You inspired me every day to go out and meet the challenges of the world. I'll never forget you. Love, Mom. Just because it's a handwritten note doesn't mean I should put my hands all over it. I wish somebody wrote me a note that was nice enough to frame. I can't reach it. Grandma says I'll hit a growth spurt if I stop doing that thing in the bathroom so much. It's an old box coated in dust that nobody wants. How's the weather up there, box? Two self-help books. One is titled, Fitting In With Today's Youth, and the other is, Similes and Metaphors for Dummies. You'll be hit with the young crowd one day, Principal McNally. One day. I licked my fingers and flipped through the pages of both books. I gained 10 boredom points. Sounds fun, but I have more pressing things to do than talk to books. Uh, you're good at what you do, blinds. You did good, Mr. Copy Machine. I bet Mrs. Copy Machine is so proud. I already used that for what I needed. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's just pretend that never happened. Outlook, not so good. <laughs> no. The copier served its purpose already. I hope it can die in peace now. Look at all that trash. I hope nobody saw me try that. Don't worry, I'll have your flyers hung up in two shakes of a seahorse's ass. This switch turns the lights on and off. Wow. Smart thinking, but no. Maybe I should try being smarter. Didn't work at all. Got a few questions if you don't mind. Well, good luck out there. Oh, if luck be a lady, she would have left me too. Oh, Beverly. the school's basement. Homeless people sleep there at night. Why do you mock my height? That was a bright idea. 
Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. Hello? Any homeless people down there? I hope nobody saw me try that. Coop loses 10 confidence points. And so our hero fails again. That's some pretty sweet chin hair he's got going there. I better not. He'd probably write a poem about it for a spoken word show. You know smoking is bad for your health, right? So is living, Daddy-o. That was super deep, man. Say, is that poop on your face? That's my soul patch, baby. I got so much soul. You're pretty lucky to be able to grow facial hair at this age. All right, baby, you got me. It's poop. Whatever it takes to look cool, man. You got that right, baby. At least the gardener is trying to do his job. Shame that junkies leave so many of their used hypodermic needles in these shrubs, though. Really takes away from the natural beauty. I don't want no shrubs. A shrub is a plant that gives me allergies. Hanging out the passenger side of the ambulance ride. Trying really hard to breathe. Don't want to talk. Must be bushed. It's a handicapped parking sign. This thing has been knocked over by drunk faculty members more times than I can count. I like the pole and the hole, even though I don't know what either of those are. Park your wheels here. Given the number of bikes that have been stolen from this rack over the years, I'm surprised the rack itself is still here. This is the best and only rack I've ever touched. Nice rack. Look at all this great grassroots marketing. Now people just lean on it while they smoke grassroots. Nah, I don't have any interest in any of these ads, so I'll leave them right where they are. Ads and titties. Ads, ads, and titties. That's a damn good spot for a flyer if I do say so myself, and I do. There we go! Sawyer's definitely gonna think of me as her best friend now. Well, hopefully. The Telepathé. We feed you what you need. Great place to go on a date. So I have been told. I'll come back for this when I have someone to eat with. I don't need to talk to it. It can read my mind. You know what they say. When you turn gray, it's time to go away. Drop off your elderly at Golden Hayes Retirement Home. A great place to wither away. If I took that and Grandma saw it, she'd think I was trying to get rid of her. No thanks, I like my Grandma. My Grandma says Golden Haze helps her with her glaucoma. Not sure what she means by that. Looks like this bike had to be put down. That's the town bicycle. Everyone's had a ride. You dirty girl. Hey! Man, I wish I had a cool scar like that. All I have are the mental ones. Better not touch him. He probably knows a pimp who will curb stomp me. This tree has seen some shit. I never touch ants without asking for their permission first. I'm not the Lorax. I don't speak for the trees. Toilet paper doesn't grow on trees. Or does it? I'm so confused. I'd prefer not to. I don't know if it's been used or not. TP, you are the ultimate asswipe. I'll be here all week. Psst, 
Hey, I heard you could get the hard stuff. Of course, I've got the strongest markers in town. Wow, H how'd you know I was talking about markers? I can sniff out a sniffer from a mile away. Hand over the money and this here deep blue jumbo sized mark tech marker is all yours. Oh, I don't have any money. Um, could you just, like, give it to me? Fuck, no. But I suppose there's something you could do for me. Go on, I could probably help. See, I've been trying to bust into the kindergarten market, right? But every time I approach the playground, this damn kick-ass scar on my face sends those babies running for the hills. I take care of it myself, but I've been blacklisted from every pharmacy in town for buying up all their ephedrine. So, what you're saying is... Scarway, Scarbegon, Scarwash, Scarbro, Fairskin, Scar... Whatever brand you can get your hands on. Give me the scar cream, and the marker is all yours. Uh, okay, got it. Rod's Thick Pizza is hiring. I feel bad for anyone willing to sit on his hiring couch. It's an ad for Herb's Hot Dog Stand. The best greasy wieners in town. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Frisky Feet Company? Is that like hiring someone to play footsie with you? The only thing about me that isn't frisky is my feet. Am I doing this wrong? Last time I touched a wiener in public, Kent made fun of me for 10 years. Hey, Herb, I got a foot long for you right here. Just kidding, it's not for you. It's for my prom date. An ad for the AV After School Club. You'd think it'd have a better design. I get beat up enough without joining a dorky club for nerds. I'm gonna keep spending my after school time alone so as not to drag down my social standing. Looking or talking is as close to this thing as I'm getting. Catch you later, pizza flyer. You couldn't pay me enough money to touch that. It's full of trash, but I'm pretty sure this is out of the school janitor's jurisdiction. Look at all that trash. It used to be full of water. Wow. I'll let this bottle recycle itself if it wants to. Choose your own adventure, little fella. If you have any bottled up emotions you want to let out, I'm here for you. Edward E. Netherton, founder of Netherton High School, hunted and killed this baby narwhal after a three-month excursion in Alaska to avenge the death of his wife, Edna E. Netherton. Edward killed this mighty baby narwhal to death with its own horn while its mother watched. Jeez! I'll never understand why that's a story this town wanted to name a high school after. Hello. This gold placard has braille on it. Kind of feels like my acne. That's one happy narwhal covered in what I hope is bird poop. Okay, I touched it. Now I have bird shit on my hands. I guess it's better than boogers. What are you so happy about? You were murdered. Hobos love to sleep on this. This is where the bus stops. They say only losers have to ride the bus to school. Thankfully, I've never had to do that. But I'm still a loser. I think it's a telephone pole. Or a cross where they crucify bad students. How does somebody lose an entire loaf of bread? Or rather, what's wrong with it that they left it here? Nah, think I'll walk around instead of waiting for a bus. I'm not gonna climb that. Also, I don't want any splinters. There, I touched it. My life is no better or worse having done so. I loaf you do much. Plaintiff, please approach the bench. Why do I always talk to inanimate objects? And why am I asking you? I'm not that hungry, and I've never been that hungry. You were a good tree. Or maybe you weren't, and you deserve this. I guess I'll never know. 
It's the tombstone where the old school was buried. Or was it an ancient native burial ground? I forget. Well, I'll be goshed. Someone didn't finish their bread. Thanks, but I'd rather grab a slice of life for a change. What's up, home slice? I could totally lift it up, but I don't want a hemorrhoid. Give it up for Mr. Dwayne Johnson, everybody. I bet he plays songs about all kinds of deep things. Don't ever touch another dude's ex. Uh, what are you doing here? YOLO, I'm just out here living life to the fullest. Going door to door, looking to scar. Any luck? I've been getting looks. And I've been passing out winks and smiles. Will you get a prom with me? Maybe if you drew lipstick on your hand. That's a babe I could understand. Uh, I was actually thinking you'd take my entire body to prom. Oh, I don't think the rest of you. No, 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 you're not as cute. Where'd you learn to play guitar? My stepdad started drinking and forgot about his guitar. Oh, that sucks having a dad who drinks. Mine died, so I can kind of relate. Dead dads are better than drunk dads who beat you up and make you eat ants out of the garden! Think I'd get a girlfriend if I learned guitar? Maybe if you put a guitar over your face and draw a better one in its place. Uh, I don't think I'd want to do that. In that case, bud, Call a grave digger on your face and have him bury it deep in a grave. What are you, some kind of rock star? As far as these chicks are concerned, I'm a sensitive, heart-throbbing, tear-jerking, seat-wetting rock star. Oh, so you're just trying to impress high school girls? Trying, it's pretty easy when you have a guitar. Aren't you old enough where it's kinda, I don't know, creepy as hell? What's so creepy about fingering something other than a guitar? Okay, I gotta go. Shine on, you crazy creep. Oh, whatever, bud. Peace and love. I'm back for more! Okay, I gotta go. Shine on, you crazy creep. Oh, whatever, bud. Peace and love. So I want to help you get that scar cream. Any idea where I could find some? Well, back before I got expelled for selling oregano laced with bath salts to freshmen, I could lift it from pill-possessing candy-striped stripper, Nurse Gwendolyn. Okie dokie, I'll go talk to her. Fat chance. She only slings the goods to slick sickos and hip hypochondriacs. She's thorough with her job. I've never had anyone slide a thermometer up my butthole with such balance and grace. I didn't need to hear that. I think I'll just go focus on the task at hand. interrupt his world record attempt, then he'll just have to start over again. I got those flyers up. I'm sure some of these idiots will accidentally see it. I hope so. Thanks for that. Oh, by the way, you should go talk to the librarian. I saw her cracking her knuckles and swearing vengeance on you. Something about an overdue book? Yeesh. I already have enough people threatening my life as it is. Thanks for the heads up. I'll go talk to her.
cool boys. They don't give two shits about nothing. Touching them would be a one-way ticket to Drown Town via the toilet. What's up, guys? Our new batch of scoots turned out well. What do you say, Coop? Wanna flush out your pipes? Yeah, don't you wanna wet your whistle and be cool like us? Uh, I better not. I have things to do. People to ask to prom. You know, that sort of stuff. Huh, <laughs> suit yourself. Missing out. It talks to me, not the other way around. A crack in the mirror? Well, there are some seriously ugly guys in my school. Thank goodness I'm not one of them. If I want to touch a crack, I'll touch my own. Seven years bad luck? Good thing I didn't break it. Not that it matters. I always have bad luck. It's like staring at a petri dish full of infectious diseases. The janitor hasn't touched this in ages. I'm not gonna touch it either. Hey, counter, what was it like back in the day, you know, when you used to be clean? Find a crying girl and touch her? Yeah, sure. Nothing could go horribly wrong there. I meant to do that. Everybody is stealing her precious books. If I touch her, she might slap me with a late fee. Also, she might just slap me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Please, I... Ah, oh, Mr. McCarthy. Just the person I wanted to see. That doesn't sound good. How observant of you. The thing is, little bitch. Can I call you little bitch? I'd prefer you didn't. The thing is, little bitch, you owe the library some debt. Does 99 ways to make friends. Psionic prestige versus the bronze brain or where are my pubes? A guide to late bloomers. Sound familiar? Uh, isn't there some sort of confidentiality rule or something? I know you have them, Cooper. The library knows everything! It's okay. I, I could just run home and get them. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Not with regular unbeaten knees, anyway. Not my knees! Those are my favorite knees! Lucky for you, I have a little deal to offer. Either we take your overdue book debt out on your little bitch knees, or you can do us a favor on the down low. We're missing a very important carpentry book first edition. Bring it back to me and I might let you live. Hell, I'll even throw in a little something extra for scratching our back. How does that sound? Sounds like I don't have a choice. You don't. Now get moving while you still can walk. <sighs> okay, since it's not in the library, where the hell could I possibly find a missing carpentry book? Pretty sure she thinks everybody is stealing her precious books. If you don't bring me that book, little bitch, I'll have a lot of fun breaking your little chicken bones with my collection of Oxford English dictionaries. If I touch her, she might slap me with a late fee. Also, she might just slap me. Shh. Don't go to space. Well, luckily I wasn't planning on it. 
No thanks. I think I've got the gist of the book from the title. I don't believe we formally met yet. Hi, my name's Coop. Hey! Making a serial killer. The long-term dangers of frequent looking, touching, and talking. Huh, that's kind of troubling. Energy crystals and their healing properties. Our book's real. Affordable health insurance. Spiders are objectively terrible and should all die. Couldn't agree more. Walt Disney. How a frozen head came to own every franchise from the comfort of his frozen head jar. Waking Up is Pointless by S. Larry. Dude seems like a bummer. Space Boy and Space Dog go to space. Wait, I thought this was the fiction section. The Collected Adventures of Pickle Man by I. Mockery. A pickled superhero? But why? 11 mild men and one angry dude with a gun. Seem it rock notes or what by El Reverso. Maybe I'll do that when I grow up. Shoot twice and never ask questions by Star Spangled Bastard. 6,000 years to fuck it up by God. 10,000 anecdotes for steamed hams by Willie Aurora Borealis Oak. 256 shades of grayscale. But if I take it, then someone will ask, Friend, where has my book titled, Friend, Where Has My Vessel Gone Gone? Funny. Whoa, my drug dealer said not to talk to strangers. Hi. Oh, your face is making me nauseous. Gwendolyn looks much less bloody than usual. Must be a good day. Anybody who works in here all day is probably covered in all kinds of germs, viruses, and diseases. No, thank you. I need scarring cream, please. Sorry, kid. It doesn't work on emotional scars. That's, uh, I don't need it for that. Okay, well, I don't see any scars. No scars, no cream. I have scars. I totally have scars. I definitely have a scar... My cesarean scars. I, uh, look like I gave birth to a face hugger. Do you even know what a cesarean is? Um, yeah. It's when the doctor removes your, uh, stomach with scissors to make room for the baby. You're no good at lying, kid. Stick to booger eating. Don't pretend like you know. What I meant to say was, I have scars... My acne scars. I look like the frickin' moon over here. Foundation, kid. It's over the counter. So are paper bags. I'm already a target for ridicule amongst my peers. And everyone else. Try the paper bag, kid. It's more for us than you. What I meant to say was, I have scars... ...down there. Uh, it's kind of in a private place, and, uh, prom is coming up. So, say no more, kid. Just please don't whip your balls out. Here, 
As a favor to you, I'll give you the scarry cream. And as a favor to me, you can leave me alone and stop bothering me about your genital tearing. Yes! Now I can give the scar cream to that crack dealer. What? Uh, nothing. Torn balls. Whatever, kid. As much as I like bacteria-infected offices, I should get going. See ya. Yeah, I hate it here, too. you the scar cream all right hey thanks kid you ain't half bad as promised here's the hard stuff ready to be sniffed to your nose discontent it's not for me it's for a friend whatever kid look all i know is thanks to you a nose junkie can sniff his way to heaven and i'm able to sell goofballs to six-year-olds thanks oh uh i feel like i didn't think this through i think i'm in over my head well see ya Shirt. Does this mean I could smoke it? some pretty sweet chin hair he's got going there. You know smoking is bad for your health, right? So is living, Daddy-o. That was super deep, man. Say, is that poop on your face? That's my soul patch, baby. I got so much soul. You're pretty lucky to be able to grow facial hair at this age. All right, baby, you got me. It's poop. Whatever it takes to look cool, man. You got that right, baby. Smell you later. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind of books do you like? I like all kinds of stuff, really. Basically anything that doesn't focus on a meek protagonist trying to help people out in an apocalyptic setting. Boring. Uh, yeah, I meekly agree. Need help finding something? Absolutely not. Well played, uh, skeptical book guy. It's a pooter. I don't have the password, the need, or the desire to use it. Computer, initiate self-destruct sequence. He already gave me a tinfoil hat, so I'll let him be. Don't want him to think I'm gang stalking him. Do you mind if I... Did I give you permission to look at, let alone speak to me? Hello, Mr. Pepe. -Pe. Well, well. It seems the winds have served as nature's guide, bringing a weird little nomad unto me. Uh, right. My name's Coop, by the way. Young Coop, I cannot speak for long, for I have to stay vigilant against those who find the need to take more from this earth than they give. Is there a printer here I could use? I am afraid not, for the serpent who lives within has shown itself, causing great sorrow and confusion across the computer lab. What happened? 
Due to underfunding, a great malaise has swept over the school like a storm over the gentle plains. The tools of the people are being sequestered under a blind eye. Much of the equipment has been taken, and I can only wish to Mother Squirrel and Brother Antelope in hopes that it fell into the hands of someone who truly needed it. So, it was stolen. Got it. Also, every program is being updated to suit the needs of a 64-bit operating system, so applications can launch in harmony and not overtax the CPU like the farmer who harvests too much grain. These are dire times, young papoose. These are dire times indeed. Tell me about it. See you later, Mr. Pepe. What you reading there? I'm expanding my vocabulary with new words out of the dictionary. Wow, that's pretty proactive of you. Like this one. Felch, verb, to orally stimulate the anus of a sexual partner, specifically to remove semen. Felch. Huh, I'm learning. Hey, I'm Coop, and I was... Pass. This is Hall Monitor Brutality! This is justice! Thanks for the lead. Now I can feed my need to make this punk bleed! I'd say you're welcome, but I honestly feel awful about this. Please go easy on him. This is why I love my job! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! This is Hall Monitor Brutality! This is justice! Th I'd say you're- This is- Stop resisting! I forgot to ask something last time we spoke. Will you go to prom with me? Yes, that is the name of this art piece. That painting is called, Will you go to prom with me? No. No, what? No, I will not go to prom with you. I'm so confused. I'm not high enough for this. Later. Good riddance. Hey, Todd. You look a bit more roughed up than the last time I saw you. What happened? Yeah, I broke my arm in a freak 2x4 accident. I... Oh. Oh, funny. Aimed your hammer the wrong way? Yeah. And got a nail stuck? Uh-huh. Wow. Yep, third time. Jesus, Todd. Hey, Max. Just had a quick question for you. I've got an even quicker answer. No. Okay, catch you later, Max. Don't talk to me like we're friends, Coop. really stuck under there. I'm gonna have to find a way to raise the desk if I want to get that book out from under it. There's got to be a better way. I guess it doesn't hurt to try. It's a missing carpentry book. Hmm, my arms look like a baby's legs, so no chance I can lift it. If only there was a way to hoist the desk. I can lift this desk with just a rope. I better combine the rope with something first. Smart thinking, but no. Maybe all the people who said I suck were right. Maybe all the people who said I suck were right. Just an unsupervised saw around a bunch of dumb kids. What could go wrong? Why bandage this up when it looks so cool? Stranger danger. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind? I like all kinds. Uh, absolutely. Well played.
considering what's behind there, this brings an entirely new meaning to the term teacher's pet. I'd better not. I don't even know the safe word. I think somebody wrote fame on you when they secretly meant to write pain. What a nice desk. I'm gonna write about it in my journal tonight. Solid, sturdy craftsmanship, A-plus desk. You disgust me. Just kidding, we're cool. That turns lights on and off just in case you're new to civilization. This is where I'd tell you that I'm afraid of the dark, if I was afraid of the dark. But I'm not afraid of the dark, just, uh, let's leave those lights on, okay? A light switch, used for lonely kids to talk to and nobody else will listen. MacGyver is rolling in his duct tape grave after that idea. Eh, wrong. Thanks for playing. It's a cabinet for files, also known as a filing cabinet. As much as I'd love to go through all the old class papers in there, I think I'll pass for now. You've served your master well, filing cabinet. May you retire soon and move on to greener pastures. I still can't unsee what was on the other side of that chalkboard. I better not. I'm afraid of my fingers getting caught in the gears and whatever other weird shit is behind there. Good chalking to you. Please tell me I'm having a fever dream. That's what this is, right? It's a number two pencil, but if you ask me, it's number one for popping lockers. You're coming with me, my groovy graphite companion. You're the best desk in the room. How does that feel? I'd love to use his desk, but first I need a doctorate in teacherology. It's Mr. Murphy's desk. He hardly ever leaves it, and I don't like it when I can't see his hands. That's, uh, Mr. Murphy's conspicuous red button. Everyone knows better than to touch Mr. Murphy's ominous red button. Last time I did that, Mr. Murphy flogged me. It was painful, but still gentle to my needs. If my teacher was a space explorer, I could call this Jean-Luc Placard. If my teacher was a computer, I would call this Hewlett Placard. If my teacher was a football team, this would say Green Bay Placards. Please don't make me keep going. Me Star Murphy. Wow, I can read. Okay, Red Button, I have to ask. How did the school board approve the budget for you to exist? I don't know what kind of plant that is, but I'm probably allergic to it. Holy crap balls! You'll never guess what it feels like! It feels... like a plant. You like when I talk to you, don't you? Makes you grow, doesn't it? You dirty plant, you. I don't want to look at whatever kinky stuff is on there. I don't want to interfere with Mr. Murphy's Craigslist ad. Are you being abused, computer? You can tell me. I really need to study with these math books right now. No thanks, I prefer comic books. So, books, what's it like being completely neglected? Wait, don't answer that. I already know. Fuck no! Jesus Christ! What the hell? Mr. Murphy? Mm. <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Fine by me. You weren't my first choice for a prom date anyway. <laughs> Why don't you do this at home? <laughs> don't you think that's taking your tenure too far? <laughs> Good point. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Okay, I can see that, but why have you gagged yourself? 
<laughs> Suit yourself, but I really think this is inappropriate for school. Do you need help? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm flexible enough to pull off the necessary amount of torque. What's that, boy? Is little Timmy stuck in a well? Show me, boy, show me! Oh, he's not stuck and he's hiding from you? Is that even possible before Labor Day? Suit yourself, no pun intended. I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye. <laughs> to know pencils still have a use in modern times. I'll have Grandma sign this later so I can go on the school field trip to the bomb shelter. Feels like future trash. Meth club? Oh, math. I need to read gooder. That feels nice. Thanks for that. You're cute as a cupcake poster, which is something no one has ever said to me. I'm back for more! So, where exactly in the school would one score the good sniff markers? In the school? Yeah, right. Those golden days have long since passed. Industrial grade markers got hardcore banned. Why were they banned? Uh, an anonymous student got busted snorting 32 of them in the air ducts during the Narwhals game, and it totally wasn't his fault that he huffboxed everyone in the gym below, or that the basketball team got highlighter lung and lost the championship. Right. So where can I, uh, score some? I heard there's a black marker dealer outside the school, but I can't feel my legs due to a completely unrelated fall from some duct work, so I can't try to track him down. Okay, I'll see if I can sniff out the goods somewhere outside. Smell you later. Here, I got that marker for you. You did? No way! Gimme, gimme, gimme! So, will you go to prom with me now? Huh? What? <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. Here, man. Here's a little reward to remember me by. A dick. On my face. You, uh, really shouldn't have. Well, glad it could help. See ya. Checks out. Hey, Mark, go easy on those markers. You might want to save a few brain cells and. Oh, there they go. Full of unlocked lockers from Kickstarter backers. I've always wondered how weird these people are. 
Guess there's only one way to find out. The Citytropolis Bumble Bears are our rivals. They're kind of like a fuzzy reverse narwhal. Nah, those assholes are right where they belong. Lying motionless on the floor. Go, go, go! Fight, fight, fight! The Bumble Bears will kill you and devour your corpse. Guess they don't have to rhyme when they constantly kick our asses at rugby. Gadget arms! Damn, didn't work. What's the point of looking at a speaker anyway? Oh, great speaker. Fill me with your wisdom. Nothing? Lights. Neat. I can't reach it, but if I eat all my vegetables, I might be able to someday. Hey, Kickstarter backers get a banner? I want a banner. I think it'd be pretty messed up if I tried to steal that. Uh, you're doing a great job, Kickstarter banner. Survivalist guy I see on TV all the time? Oh, hi. Looks like you see me here. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. All right, Ted Bear. But what are you doing here? Here's the scenario. You've just bailed out of your high-status television gig and find yourself stranded out in the dangerous wilds of unemployment. Let's just say that biting off your own donger like a banana slug isn't exactly a bowl of rice. And now you've returned to grade school to acclimate to your surroundings, get friendly with the local natives, and earn your GED. I mean, that's not my scenario. Try and keep up! Why are you hiding in a locker? Now, the secret to surviving school and not getting bullied is to bully yourself first. I've shoved myself in a locker to provide shelter, camouflage, and none of those bully buggers will bully or bugger me. I have to admit, I've never tried that. That's why you always need a backpack full of ingenuity. I've got mine on both straps. Uh, yeah. Mine is just filled with a bunch of garbage I find lying around. That's the spirit! Fill your backpack with garbage before the bullies do it for you. Will you go to prom with me? Me? Prom? <laughs> That's a laugh. Nobody can tie down this free bird. I've already got a date with a dame named Mother Nature. Uh, that sounds incestuous, but I accept your no. Aren't you a little old to be in high school? If you keep your head down, your ear to the ground, your eyes peeled, and your head straight on, you can hide in the shadows and get yourself some free education. Why didn't I think of that? Try and keep up! Any other tips on how I could survive my last year in high school? Sometimes all you need to get by is to observe your surroundings and make use of them. Scavenge around, chop down a vine, push things around, make Mother Nature your bitch before she makes you hers. 
when in doubt, try to get acquainted with the local natives. You can even get them to fight over simple provisions like rations to sneak by, or disguise yourself as one of their own to get accepted into the pack. And always, always, always do your homework and get a good night's rest. We're not out in nature anymore, Mr. Bear. I'm not sure this advice applies to me. Oh, it can, you little ankle biter. More than you even know. Well, good luck out in the, uh, wilds. It may look like piss, but at least it smells like a dirty pile of pennies. Oh, sure. I'll just scoop up that piss in my hands. Maybe I'll taste it too. Fucking great idea. Better to be a puddle of piss on the floor than a puddle of piss in my pants. I meant to do that. The Star Spangled Bastard. He's not the hero America needs, but he's the hero America deserves. Sorry, stealing that would be domestic terrorism. I want you to go fuck yourself. If I don't get a date to prom, I promise I will. Looks like that's where all the rampant cases of black lung in this town come from. There, I touched it. My life is no better or worse having done so. The vent isn't worth talking to. It's filled with nothing but hot air. This corkboard doesn't get much attention. Nobody really stops to look at these flyers. Maybe they need some glitter. If I pin something up here, not many people are gonna see it. Looks like someone threw in the towel and it got benched. So much symbolism. That looks plenty used. No thanks. You can't dry a towel with another towel. Let that wisdom soak in for a bit. Fuck a duck, it's another can full of trash. I'm dirty enough already. A dirty, dirty boy. Having a conversation with a trash can? What a rubbish idea. This corkboard doesn't get much attention. Nobody really stops to look at these flyers. Maybe they need some glitter. Put a cork in it, board. Ha! Got him! Just two dudes, dooting around. I don't want to touch those dudes. Trust me, most teenage guys are... sticky. Dude, you really stayed at her place last night? Yeah, dude. You could say she was hot and ready. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, petting heavy. So, what's it like to, you know? Dude, it's like, dude, you know? You squeeze the boobs as hard as you can till they fall off. Then her adult boobs grow in. Dude, girls are awesome! Dude, I know! Dude, can I smell your hands? Yeah, dude, check it out. Dude, your hands smell like boobs! Boob scent is the best! Dude, lucky! All hail the Kickstarter backers! All hail! No way! I'm not worthy to touch that banner! Wow! A Kickstarter banner? That's super expensive for this school. They don't even have working fire extinguishers here. They must really love these guys. Psst. Math doesn't count. Reading does. Without reading, you'd be uncool, unhip, and unliterate. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. Say no to dir... I can't read it. Say no to Dre? Say no to doctor? Doctor who? Why do you mock my height? No. I should carry a knife with me. If that spider gets too close, I can use it to take my own life. Hell no! I don't want to get caught and eaten by a spider. Not to be rude, but I hope you and all of your babies die a horribly painful death. Welcome back, seniors. The school year is almost over. They keep it up just because they assume most of us will be held back another year. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit.
See the nurse. Just from breathing in this air, they assume you're sick. Must be all the asbestos. Whatever you say, poster. I'm short and you're a jerk for constantly reminding me. locker room is for literal pussies, not figurative ones like me. Unless I had a disguise. I wish that would work, but alas. There's got to be a better way. At least it was fun to try. Well, not really. This is making me nauseous. Survey says no. Would you look at the time? Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. Shh. Ever seen the movie Three O'Clock High, where the kid has to battle a bully? I'm sure that won't happen to me. Energy crystals and their healing properties. Didn't work, but if I try it 130 more times, it might. Like my teacher says, that's wrong, Coop, and let's address that hygiene issue after class. Outlook not so good. Coop, think harder. Rats, no dice. And so our hero fails again. There's no way I can lift this desk with just a rope. I better combine the rope with something first. It's like the Wizard of Oz, only with a book and a desk instead of a witch in a house. 